first heard about this mall train show about a year ago, so I decided to head down and see what it's like. It only lasted one day, but I got in late enough to get in for free. It was held in a high school cafeteria and foyer, so it wasn't that big. The biggest layout here was this three-track end scale layout. There's also this one table HO skill rail, which I probably saw at NMRA 2018. The operator even had a Hornby Thomas and a Hornby Percy. There was also this neat layout, but no one was operating it when I was walking by it. Which included this nice display of the different scales and gauges of model railroading. But most of the show was people selling model trains. I expected more layouts, but unfortunately, most of the layouts included in this show are part of the layout tour, which I did not partake in. I was keeping my eyes peeled place. for a model of Union That's Pacific 1988 or Norfolk Southern 1069, but no one at the show had them. When the show was to close in about an hour, the layout tours were started. Second place, Dave Jacobs. Where's Dave? There he is. I almost thought about getting this locomotive, but I didn't. I did get a very similar one for a lot less. This covered hopper had a neat livery, but it was a bit too much for me. This model of $39.85 was $150. Do you guys think it was a good deal? Now for the stuff that I did end up buying. So this is what I got from the Mall Train Show that I, I got this. This is a dummy unit I got for only $10. It's a Spectrum by Bachman. The wheels are still geared together, so but I can free roll. And these freight cars. I got for three fifty each. They're all International Hobby Corp. 
Sounds a cheap way to move like a long train of like the same car. I have like all three of these and I had some DT and I box cars there too. I also got this bag of repainted Bachman automobiles for five fifty. And then this. It's an Athern Roundhouse BNSF GP fifty. I only paid twenty dollars for it. To you. It's missing the side handrail and one of the radiator caps was loose and the other was missing. Here's what the looks like. Finn has a separate little fan in there. So I'll get these things running a little bit. I also just realized that the windows can slide on this. These can be positioned. So here's the train that I got the entire thing. I just set up my loop of Hornby track that I got for basically nothing many, few, like about a month ago. Let's get going. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. It's you know, probably come the pride of my collection. <sighs> that the train keeps getting derailed right there. Don't know why. Maybe because I doesn't have a good roadbed like Easy Track. Still pretty happy with this this entire train. So thank you guys for watching.